We all know sound can make us feel good. Just listen to your favorite song or the voice of someone you love. But did you know you can use sound for therapy? <laughs> Stress and anxiety can come from jobs, relationships, living in financial situations, and of course the pandemic. Sound therapy can be a stress reliever. Sound therapy in and of itself is a modality of deep relaxation. It is an opportunity for us to work with the central nervous system to switch our brain off and allow the body to rest. Sound therapy can be traced back to ancient civilizations and modern indigenous cultures. David Gibson, the director and founder of the Sound Healing Center in California, says there are two areas of sound therapy. One is meditation. And you can meditate on different sounds and music and, and different frequencies and get in the zone. Playing sound healing instruments or doing voice, which are all about stable, consistent vibrations right? Crystal bowls, Tibetan bowls, tuning forks. I mean, all types of, of instruments, including rhythm instruments. The second area. We're using very specific frequencies, combinations of frequencies and musical flows to heal every disease in the world very scientifically as to the basis, as to the way matter works based on vibration. Here in Lansing, Betty Gothier is a certified and licensed sound therapy practitioner. So I see uh, people in two different scenarios, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, like in the studio where I'm working with a person individually, or in a group setting, a community group setting. She also brings people together for sound baths, which are sound therapy in a group. With a sound bath, you're going to usually have a great variety of instruments that are played intuitively, one after another, it's changing, it's never the same, practice twice. And sound therapy can be for anyone. You don't have to feel like you're in a state of need for it to be beneficial to your body. With grief or depression or anxiety or um, some other type of traumatic circumstance, sound therapy can help us work through those emotions, those feelings. I tried it out while doing this story. Okay. So, yep, face up. And I'm gonna put a bolster underneath the back of your legs. We started off with breathing techniques and then moved to bowl work. And I must say, when all of it was over, I felt relaxed and at peace. So sound therapy, like any type of, of self-care modality, I think is very beneficial. And if you are looking for that sense of peace and that sense of calm and comfort in your life, then sound therapy is a go-to practice. Reporting in your East Lansing neighborhood, I'm Tiana Jenkins.